Stan, what's your farm name and where are you from? Uh, Holes Apple Farms, Toledo, Illinois. A couple hundred miles south of Chicago. Okay, excellent. And can you tell me a little about your business? I uh, grow corn and soybeans. Uh, usually about 60% to two thirds corn, the rest soybeans. Okay, excellent. And what problem did you have before you found OptiService? Uh, our number one yield limiting factor is drainage. Uh, if it's if it's wet, we nothing works right. Yeah. Totally. And everything has to be surface drained. Our, our soils are real tight. They're tight clay. Yeah. We do have quite a bit of tile that helps a lot, but we still have to surface drain even with the tile. Okay. And did you have any concerns after you found us? I couldn't imagine how that could work. Right, you didn't think it would work? <laughs> no, well, it's a little skeptical. Yeah. But What, skeptical uh, about the earthworks? Or? Being, being able to move actually move enough dirt to make it work but it was way less than i thought we were going to have to move i mean i right. i was dreaming of something that was going to take a whole fleet of quad tracks and pans and mm. two years to do it right but, but uh it was very it was minimal compared to what i was expecting yeah so you you just uh pulled a reynolds what was it again a reynolds finishing yes Ejector. scraper and I can't think of what they call it it's a uh, I can't I can't think of the name of it but it only has about a three foot apron in the bottom of it yeah has an ejector blade on it okay and you're actually dragging the dirt rather than nice carrying it yeah. which is a lot better because that reduces the compaction mm. from the pan also I ah, got you and what tractor were you pulling that with pull it with a 310 magnum row track right and, and size wise it was just about right i think this i think this pan's about 12 feet wide okay. and it will carry 14 yards of dirt when it's heaped but it's actually dragging the dirt on top of the ground with the exception of what little bits in the yeah in the pan in the back yeah it worked out better for us than a carry type scraper, scraper yeah typically is for um a lot of earthworks for opti service uh what impressed you most when you started working with opti service uh, the promptness. Oh, right. It didn't take any time at all to get the maps back. And, okay. And they were pretty well self-explanatory. And after I looked, we surveyed it, and after I looked at the maps and, and saw what dirt had to be moved, it it, uh, it all fell into place. Then I could understand it. But until then, right. it was hard to comprehend what we were going to be doing. Right. Okay. And really, until you make that first pass or two across the field and look at the elevations as you're going and look at you know how much dirt you're going to be taking off or putting in a hole mm -hmm. it, it's hard to comprehend but after that it is pretty simple okay excellent how would you describe opti service to other people uh not what you would think that you need to do to drain a field okay yeah. not not at all what you would think needs to be done not as, as much work. because everybody talks about land leveling well mm. it's it's not land leveling it's land forming yeah to get the water off the field you're not trying to run it all from one side of the field to the other side of the field you're getting yeah. it out of there the easiest way yeah excellent uh what are the outcomes and benefits that are most valuable to you well just getting the field drained where we can get in there in a timely fashion and get things planted yeah and how valuable was it to you? Oh, very valuable. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. you don't have to it's, say that. We, no, we it's probably the, it's probably, the land form has probably made me more money on that ground than anything I've ever done. Yeah. And, and we're going to do a lot more of it. Yeah. We're going to do a lot more of it. Excellent. Um, yeah. The favorite feature of the design? Now, the fact that you can actually see what you're going to be doing. Oh, right. You can see the design. When you're in the tractor, right. you're actually seeing where the water's going to be going, where you're moving dirt to, moving dirt from, mm. you okay. know, the flow lines, mm. all that stuff. Yeah, right, right. Yep. Um, how has the product impacted your bottom line? So that field that 
What well, that, that, that the, the field that we just, just looked at. Uh, I don't know, it made a tremendous difference on it. It was farmed, I think there's about 95 acres there, and it was farmed in five different fields previously with great big ditches in between all of them. In fact, there was actually a culvert out in the middle of the field in one of the ditches uh, because you couldn't cross it. Mm. And now you drive across the whole field. Yeah, so far, far more efficient to farm. Oh, far, yeah. And, and the yield? Increased tremendously. Oh, how can we improve our service to you? I think you do a good job so far. Okay. The way it is. Excellent. Kind of impressed well, me that you came by here. Well, thanks, Dan. Yep. It's, uh, it's good to travel around the states and catch up with clients yep. that are... Um, oh, well, after impressive. you can put a, you know, a name to a face, it makes all the difference. Excellent. Excellent.